One helpful analytical framework is to understand science diplomacy as having three core dimensions. First, diplomacy for science, where diplomats facilitate international cooperation to advance scientific goals. We just saw this with the ALMA telescopes example. Second, science for diplomacy, where science supports or helps improve broader relations between countries and societies. Remember the handshake in space symbolized the thawing of the Cold War in the form of space collaboration. And third, science in diplomacy, where science informs diplomacy, whether through scientific advice or information that can be used in the formulation of foreign policies or international agreements. We encountered this when we spoke about Antarctica. But does that mean that each situation will be served by only one dimension? Of course not. These dimensions might overlap. In fact, you'll see that they often do. The dimensions serve as an analytical framework, not a rigid definition. Now let's apply this framework to some real examples. <laughs>